Hi, this is JB from Another Lights Over Arkham. This time, Benny is continuing his playthrough through the Return to the Forgotten Age campaign, and we are at the City of Archives. Uh, we are starting the game as in the body of a Yetian, and we had five experience to upgrade our deck before the scenario. So let's look at the deck first. Uh, because I just got the new Investigator Starter Packs, I decided to include some of the new cards included in the Stella Clark Investigator Starter Deck. So, with the help of Adaptable, I changed the Fire Axes into 18 caliber Derringers. I also upgraded the Unexpected Courages into Unexpected Courage Level 2. And also, I changed the look what I found into the second copy of Sharp Vision. These changes were uh, because I found that I never played the Fire Axe, because with the fine print weakness I really can't be having no resources with any. So, upgrading, uh, uh, changing the <laughs> Fire Axes into another weapon uh, was a good option and I want to try out the Derringer. Also the unexpected carriages are upgraded because I think the level 2 version feels quite good. If you fail a test you keep, uh, get to keep the card so you can try again with the same card. That seems really good. Also sharp vision is really good in this scenario because when you commit it uh, the body of Yitian special ability will boost that card a bit. And also it's uh, another uh, skill card that doesn't use up any resources. Uh, I think that's enough of the deck. Uh, let's go to the scenario. So we are starting in a body of a Yitian. So each of your ally assets gains the Yetian trait. Uh, free triggered ability. After you commit a card to a skill test you are performing, double the skill icons on that card. Limit once per test. And the Elder Sign effect is plus two, draw a card. We have seven health and seven sanity, and the stat line is two, 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 two. So that is enough of the uh, Yetian card. There were some slight changes to the scenario uh, that I noticed at the start. First off, uh, we have a new Hall of Nakotus location, the Southern Corridors. And also there is a new um, Act 2 card and some, of, some new cards that are added later in the scenario. Uh, there are a couple of new enemy cards in the Return to City of Archives encounter set, so those are in the encounter deck. But yeah, let's see if <laughs> Benny can survive being a Gitian and get out of this uh, alien city. So let's get started. I have pre shuffled the deck, so let's draw our opening hand of five cards. Okay, so we get Sharp Vision, uh, the new Unexpected Courage, the new uh, Derringer, uh, Relic of Ages, and Meat Cleaver. Actually, uh, I think we were supposed to remove all the uh, unique items from the deck. So if I draw them, I just remove them. So let's draw a new card uh, instead of the Relic of Ages, so it's the letter code. Because these uh, unique items do not exist in this time. Um, let's see, um, I think I'll keep the Derringer. Uh, let's get rid of the Meat Cleaver. Uh, I think the rest is fine. I think, yeah, let's uh, mulligan the letter code, so we draw two more cards. Oh yeah, the red balloon is uh, removed. 
so we get the lantern and lucky okay well this is a fine fine start so let's shuffle these back into the deck so we are uh, trying to first advance the act uh, so each copy of Etian Observer gains aloof, and also the city of the Great Race. There is a extra rule that investigators cannot put item assets into play, including item weaknesses. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, I'm I'm a bit dumb, so I kept the Derringer and Lantern. Uh, well, what can you do? I think I'll just commit them to tests. Uh, also, uh, we resisted the being captive, so there is one Yetian Observer in the victory display at the start. And that means we start in the interview room uh, restraining chamber. It's a four-shroud location with one clue. Uh, there's a parlay action test, uh, intellect four, or fight four to interrogate the captive mind restrained here. If you succeed, remember that you interviewed a subject. If you fail, take two horror. So I think we'll be trying that before we leave this room, because that's one of the uh, goals we need to complete in this scenario. I think there are new ones with the new location, so we'll see. Okay, uh, first action. I think I will investigate here. I'll commit the lantern. So I, uh, with the body of Yithian, uh, we double the skill icons on that card. So we get uh, four to the skill plus four to the skill check. So we are testing six versus two, uh, four. Let's see. And we get the zero. So we get this blue. Second action. Uh, I think I'll try the parlay test here. And I am committing unexpected courage to the test. So this is the new unexpected courage. It has two wild icons, max one committed per skill test. If the test fails, return unexpected courage to your hand. So uh, we are testing six versus four for the Oh yeah, uh, I'll test the strength, so I'll also commit the derringer to the test, but it's uh, limit once per test, so we are only doubling the unexpected courage. So we are 7 versus 4 for the fight uh, test, and it's a minus 2, so we succeed, so we don't get the unexpected courage back into our hand, but we succeed in interrogating the captive mind here. Last action, uh, we'll just move into the Hall of Natus Eastern Corridor. So, uh, it's a three shroud location with one clue, uh, free triggered ability. Uh, during your turn, choose a discard a card from your hand, move to another copy of Hall of Noctus, limit one spell turn. I think we'll just uh, stay here and try to possibly investigate here. Well, that's our turn. Uh, no enemies, we ready up and draw a card. And we get the Depressed Clown, so there is no ally in play, so we just have to take two direct horror. Oh, that's that's not nice. And we gain one resource. So we are at six resources, so we need one more to be safe from the fine print weakness. And that's the first turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add a Doom to the agenda. It's a five threshold agenda. The first encounter card is Offer of Power, Peril, Revelation. You must either choose one, draw two cards and place two Doom on the current agenda, or take two Horror. Uh, well, 
this is this is uh, not <laughs> not a good start. I think I'll take the horror uh, for the moment. So we are five or seven horror, but we don't want to let the act uh, agenda advance too fast. So we could draw the two cards actually. Let's uh, let's add the doom on a second thought, and let's draw the cards. So get uh, what's this and. Shit. Well, <laughs> that, that was a bad, bad idea. So, uh, lose seven resources. If you cannot, instead remove fine print from the deck. Search the collection for sell your soul and place it in your discard pile. Uh, well, can you do so? Just change this uh, sleeve here, so we get the cellular soul weakness. Now uh, we have the cellular soul weakness in our deck, so uh, revelation lose 10 resources. If you cannot, your dark patron tears your consciousness from your body. You are driven insane. Okay, uh, this uh, is not looking good for Benny, but yeah. Let's see. Let's see if we can still pull through. So investigation phase. I think I will go check out one of these other investigate uh, interview rooms. So first action, I'll move here. So after you begin your turn in this location, if there is a Ethian enemy in this location, draw a card. Okay, so no clues here. We go back and we go to the other interview room. So forced, um, it's a one shroud location with one clue. Forced, after you enter this location, test willpower 3, take one horror for each point you fail by. Uh, okay, well, I'll commit to watch this to the test. Uh, I'll just put three resources on it. Uh, we have the lucky in hand, so I think we're safe trying to get more resources. Mm. Uh, we are testing 4 versus 3. It's a minus 2. If you fail, place one of your clues on your location, but uh, we'll play the lucky. So we actually succeed. Let's count. Um, so we're testing four versus three. We got a minus two, so we're one below. So we go one up and we get the double resources. Okay, well, a little bit late with the resources, but what can you do? And that's our turn. Uh, no enemies, we ready up. We draw a card, we get an Derringer, and we gain one resource. And I'll just uh, change five of these resources into a fiver. And uh, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we are at four Doom of five. The encounter card is Captive Mind. Best uh, Willpower zero. Regardless of whether this skill test succeeds or fails, choose and discard all but X cards from your hand. Uh, X is your modified skill value for this test. Okay, so we're not committing anything to the test. Uh, we are testing 2 versus uh, 0. We get a 0. So Uh, so, I'll discard two cards because my modified skill value is uh, two, so I uh, understand this. Well, there goes the Derringer and 
sharp vision. Uh, investigation phase, we'll just uh, investigate here. Investigating two versus uh, one. It's a zero, so we get this clue. And we'll use the clues to advance. So, uh, finding your way. We put the set aside location in the play Great Library, uh, laboratory of the Great Race, Gideon Orary, the construction room, the Tower of Noctus, and also the new locations were uh, instructed in their return to setup instructions. So we get also the Cyclopean vaults and the Alien Conservatory. We'll set up those in a moment. Then uh, we choose one of the locations at random, put set aside the custodian asset in the play at the randomly chosen location. Note each copy of Yitian Observer is no longer aloof. So we'll set up the map and I'll pause the video because there's a bit of setup to do, so I'll be right back. Okay, so uh, we are back with the setup done. So we have all of these <laughs> locations. Here are the new ones. They all uh, are as usual. Uh, we randomize where the custodian spawns. So uh, the custodian is the tower in the tower of Narcotus. And yeah, so we still have two actions left. So now we have the new act two here. So objective if three of the following are true you must advance uh, investigator found the process uh, dissected an organ interviewed a subject realized what year it is activated the device uh, controls the custodian read about earth saw a familiar specimen so i think uh, these locations have the two bottom ones and the rest are the same so we uh, already uh, done did uh, uh, interviewed a subject one. So I think I want to go check the new ones right away. So uh, second action, I'll move to Hall of Nakotos, and last action because I don't have any cards to discard, I'll move to the Hall of Nakotos Southern Corridor, and it's a three shroud location uh, with one clue. And it's the same, we can uh, discard cards to move to other Hall of Nakotus locations. So we're just here, and next turn we can start uh, checking out these new locations. But that's the uh, turn done. Uh, we have no enemies, so we're ready up. We draw a card, we get Lone Wolf, and we gain one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we are at 5 Doom, so we have to advance the agenda. So, the Replicator. Each investigator searches the top 9 cards of his or her deck for up to 2 item assets and draws them. Shuffle each search deck. Note, investigators are now able to put item assets into play. Shuffle the encounter discard pile into the encounter deck. If the custodian is in play and not controlled by an investigator, move it to the location with the most clues on it. Uh, the location with the most clues is actually, well, we can just move the custodian over here. That helps us out a lot. So we search the top 9 cards for, an, for 2 item assets. Uh, item assets. Well, we get the switchblade and uh, that is it. Unfortunately, Miss Doyle would have been our next card. We really would have wanted to get her in play, but it is what it is. So uh, we get the switchblade, and we already have the lone wolf. So I think I'll. Play. Well, I don't need to play anything. I'll just try to uh, 
uh, parley with the custodian probably we'll need cards for that so i think i'm gonna draw some cards and uh, yeah uh, we still get the encounter card and it is a scientist of yet spawn laboratory of the great race aloof if an investigator has activated the device or dissected an organ scientist of yet loses aloof and gains hunter so we'll put it over here and that is the mythospace space done uh, we need to parlay with the test of uh, Intellect 3. Uh, so, I think I'll draw some cards. So, let's get uh, a card. Uh, not helpful. Let's get another card. Again, not helpful. Uh, let's just get another card. Well, that was... Uh, useless turn oh yeah and the investigator maximum hand size is reduced by two so it's six so we have five cards so we still don't need to discard anything with the upkeep enemy phase nothing happens uh, we go to upkeep we draw a card get the meat cleaver and we gain one resource so that is that turn let's go to the next turn uh, we add a doom to the agenda and the threshold now is seven uh, we get an encounter card and it is locked door and I'll just put the locked door on Hall of Nakotus and that is that so uh, yeah fortunately we don't have any <laughs> intellect icons uh, we really want the custodian to help us I think I'll keep the... Uh, well, yeah, let's, let's go... Uh, let's draw a card. Nice, uh, we get the unexpected courage. So, uh, we'll uh, parlay the custodian. I'll use the unexpected courage. Actually, uh, before that, we'll play the lucky like, cigarette case. For second action. And then we will uh, unexpected courage. So we are testing uh, six versus three. Uh, we get a minus two. So we succeed, but we don't get to uh, get any cars with the lucky cigarette case. But at least the custodian is now uh, controlled by us. Uh, we place one clue, and uh, when we have one clue per investigator, we take control of the custodian. So, uh, I'll just mark it here. Or I'll mark it on the custodian, because we're controlling it. So now we have two for the three that we need to advance, and uh, that is our turn. Uh, no enemy, uh, well the enemy doesn't do anything because it's aloof, so we go to upkeep, we ready, draw a card, and gain one resource. That is that turn, let's go to the next turn. We add another two. Encounter card for this turn. Uh, actually, I think we were supposed to shuffle these cards here, so I'll just do it now. Yeah, I, I forgot when the agenda advanced, we should have uh, shuffled these cards into the encounter deck. Well, we only got the locked door after that, so that's fine. So we get uh, Rotting Remains. Test uh, Willpower 3. For each point you fail by, take one more. So uh, I think I'll commit uh, both of the meat cleavers to the test just to get rid of them uh, I'm testing this against two icons and this one so I'm testing five versus three it's a minus three so 
We failed by one, so we have to take one horror. And that's the middle space. Um, we go to the investigation phase. Uh, yeah, I'll think I'll go see what the uh, Cyclopean Vaults has in store. So, uh, it's a five shroud location with one clue. Action discard each non weakness card in your hand. Action, if you have no cards in your hand, remember that you read about Earth. Double action, if you have a fewer than five cards in your hand, draw cards until you have exactly five cards in your hand. Uh, yeah, so that was the first action to move it here. Let's uh, do the action to discard our hand. And the last action, uh, we'll do the action uh, that we read about Earth. So now we have to immediately advance. So, uh, we have completed read about Earth, uh, we have the custodian, and we also interviewed a subject. Uh, the process. The truth is hard to accept. Uh, your body has was never brought to this place. Your mind has been transferred to the body of one of these creatures. Somewhere in another place, in another time, one of the wild creatures dwells in your body. You no longer have the perform any of the following tasks. However, the more you have performed by the time the scenario ends, the easier the transformation to your human body will be and the less likely the process is to fail or backfire. Be careful. Put this act into play with the side face up as a reminder so we have to still complete more of these uh, tasks. I'll just put it here. And uh, that is our turn. Uh, no enemy movement or anything like that. So we go to upkeep, we ready up, we draw a card, and we gain one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we are at 3 Doom of 7. Encounter card for this turn is uh, Captive Subjects. It's a uh, 2 fight, 5 health and 4 evade monster spawn alien conservatory aloof retaliate if an investigator read about earth or saw a familiar specimen captive subject loses aloof and gains hunter okay so that guy has the hunter trait now and doesn't uh, isn't aloof okay i think uh, we are in a bit of a trouble with that guy. So, uh, investigation phase starts. Uh, we can draw a card with the custodian that we forgot to do last turn. Uh, we get read obviously. Uh, and that's a free trigger ability, so it doesn't cost an action. First action I'll play Vida. And. Now I have to decide if I want to uh, flee from, from the captive subject. I think we need to give that guy a run around and try to find more things to do in the other locations. We really don't have a good way to investigate here. I think I'll. Yeah, I think the smart thing is to start running from that guy. And uh, we'll discard a card to move free here. And we go here. So, again, it's a three shard location with one clue, and we can only once uh, trigger that effect there. 
uh, let's use our last action to move into the tower of Nakotus. It's a two uh, shroud location with two clues. Discard any number of cards from your hand. Shuffle your discard pile into your deck and draw equal uh, cards equal to one more than the number of cards you discarded. So I think uh, we'll do that next turn. But this guy starts hunting, so it moves here. And that is the turn, so we go to upkeep, we get a card, and we gain one resource. So I think uh, we could play Jessica Hyde next turn to have a damage so in play. And that is that turn, let's go to the next turn. Uh, we are at 4 Doom of 7, and counter card for this turn is Offer of Power. Uh, yeah, now we have some uh, horror, so so I'll take the horror. So we'll put the horror on Vida, and that is that. Uh, we really can more doom in play and get cards because that that would just be awful. Uh, I think first action is to play Jessica Hyde. Uh, Jessica comes in play with two damage. And heals one at the end of the run. Uh, actually, at the end of the investigate our turn. Mm, yeah, we forgot to put the clues here. Uh, second action, I'll I'll discard any number of cards and shuffle my. Well, I, I think I won't do that yet. So I'll draw a card, and I'll draw another card. Oh no. Should I? I'll draw the card. Uh, we get that cherry skip set. Okay. Oh yeah, and we draw a card with the custodian to start. So we have these cards in hand. Uh, this guy hunts here. And uh, we ready up in the upkeep phase. We draw a card and we gain one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we are at 5 Doom of 7. And count card for this turn is another scientist of yet, and it spawns in the same location as the other one and is aloof because we haven't done those things that it suggests. And investigation phase. I think I will commit quick thinking to the test. I will investigate and I will uh, wing it from our discard. So we are testing uh, 4 versus 1. Uh, we get a 0, we succeed and we gain 2 clues from the location with the winging it. And we gain one extra action. Second action. Mm. Uh, we'll move here. This guy engages us. Uh, we'll try to evade. I'll commit watch this to the test. Uh, we are evading 4 versus 4. Oh yeah, we forgot to draw with the custodian this turn too. Or did we? Yeah, we did. Uh, well, expedition journal. Yeah, uh, it should have been removed. So, another quick thinking. I'll commit the quick thinking to the test. And I'll put uh, 3 resources and watch this. So we are getting 5 versus 4. Uh, and it's the auto fail, so womp womp. Last action. Uh, we'll try to evade uh, 2 versus 4. 
itse mainitsit syy, se oli even the lucky one, helpas. Oh yeah, uh, Jessica would have healed one damage last turn. So, uh, this guy hits us for two horror. And that's the enemy face, so upkeep. Uh, we draw a card, we get Miss Doyle, and we gain one resource. And that's not a resource. So. Okay. Well, this isn't looking really good, but let's see what we can do next turn. So let's go to the next turn. Now uh, we add a Doom, so we are at 6 of 7 Doom, and counter card is Crypt Chill. Mm. Test Willpower 4 if you fail. I'll just test it. Oh yeah, and Jessica would have healed one at the end of our last turn. So... I uh, will just lose the lucky secret case if we fail, and I think we will. So it's a skull and it's a minus one. Because we don't have five or more cards, so we'll just discard the lucky secret case. Well, uh, we draw a card with the custodian, leather cold, it's not that helpful. Uh, we really need to evade, we can't take any more attacks of opportunity or stuff like that, so we'll have to try and evade and uh, look for a zero. So we could uh, lucky out our uh, way out of it. So evading uh, of two versus four, and it's a zero. So we got really lucky because we're lucky, better lucky than good. So this guy is evaded, and. Yeah, we need to get away from this guy, so uh, we really can't go up there. Those guys could just kill us if we go uh, see what's there. So I think I'll go back here and I'll go check the alien conservatory. So the alien conservatory is a true shroud location with one clue. Uh, while you are in the alien conservatory, decrease your maximum hand size by two. So it's now uh, only four cards. Uh, test willpower one if you succeed, test uh, agility two if you succeed, test intellect three if you succeed. Remember that you saw a familiar specimen. Okay. Well, that's our turn. Uh, we. Red, I go to enemy phase, nothing happens, we go to upkeep, this guy readies, we draw a card, and we gain one resource. So, that is that turn, let's go to the next turn. Uh, we have to advance the agenda. Check your supplies. If an investigator has a pendant, that investigator reads the following. Well, we don't have the pendant. Uh, shuffle the encounter discard pile into an encounter deck. If the cost is in play and not control moves. So, we just shuffle the discard into the encounter deck. nothing else happens so now uh, we have a uh, each investigator's maximum hand size is reduced by four so we have a hand size of two and the doom threshold is seven and counter card for this turn is uh, captive mind oh dear let's see uh, we are testing uh, 2 versus 0. 
it's a uh, minus two so it's a uh, zero so we don't have to discard anything that's <laughs> quite lucky uh, first action I uh, will play Miss Doyle discarding Vida Vistli get one of the cats in the play. I'm hoping it's the one that helps us evade. And it's seal, so it helps us fight. Well, that wasn't what I was looking for, but we'll take it. And our deck is uh, in, uh, almost out. We have like Eight cards in our deck now. Okay, that's enough shuffling. Let's investigate here. I'll play Sharp Vision. I'm investigating, so now we gain two icons, so we gain six icons, so we'll probably. Well, Let's not use it here because it's not even a victory fortification. So instead, uh, we will we will need to succeed in the well. Yeah, let's draw a card with the custodian. That's not helpful. So the problem here is the agility test, and it's an agility test of two. So let's uh, just. Uh, draw a card. Okay, so we get Ogre. So we can commit it to the test. That's good. Uh, last action, I'll try to do the test here. Uh, first, we test Willpower 1. Uh, I'll commit the Cherry Skeepsake to the test. So we are testing 4 versus 1. It's a 0. Uh, we passed that part of the test. Next we try the Agility 2, so we're testing, uh, committing Augur to the test, so we're testing 4 vs 2. It's a plus 1, so we succeed in that part, and then the last part we'll commit the Sharp Vision. So uh, we're testing 8 vs 3. And it's a zero. So we succeed in uh, the test that we saw a familiar specimen. And that is our turn. And now we have a hand size of minus six. So we have only hand size of two. So, okay, this guy hunts here. Uh, we draw a card and then we need to discard a card and I'll discard Jessica and we gain one resource so that is that turn let's go to the next turn we add a doom so one of seven uh, and counter card is uh, offer of power uh, if I take two horror I can't take the horror because uh, that would kill Miss Doyle. I'll I'll have to add the doom and draw the cards. That is unfortunate, and we get two cards, so we get uh, hope and lantern. I think our first uh, well, the hope to play hope is fast action, so uh, I'll spend one resource to discard seal and play hope. Uh, first action will move here and let's evade with hope so we are evading okay let's draw one card with the custodian so we are uh, evading five versus four I'll commit uh, switch play to the test so we're evading seven versus four It's a minus two. This guy is evaded. So it 
didn't engage us and I think we really need to get at least one more place. I can't remember if the great library had anything. So we I think there uh, here is these three locations at least have something. So I think we just have to go up there. Yeah. So uh, we'll move here and we'll discard one card. But discard the winging it to move freely here. And that is our turn. So this guy readies. And we go to upkeep. We draw a card. And uh, we gain one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Um, we add a doom, then counter card is uh, cruel interrogations. Put cruel interrogations into play in your th threat area. If an investigator has interviewed a subject, take one horror and cruel inter interrogations get searched. So, uh, yeah, so we take one horror. Unfortunately, and it searches. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, we take a horror. So I think uh, Jessica is dead. And it searches. Uh, Keeper of the Great Library spawns in the great, uh, great Library. If an investigator has found the process or realized what year it is, Keeper of the Great Library gets a little uh, loses our loop and gains hunter, so we haven't done those things, so it just uh, spawns there. Okay, well, we're in a bit of a tr uh, trouble now. We can't do draw actions because of those cards, but let's see. Uh, first action, we'll move into the laboratory of the Great Race. So it's a tool shroud location with one clue. If there are no clues on the laboratory of the great race, um, we test agility three to manipulate the controls of the technological device nearby. If you succeed, remember that you activated the device. If you fail, place one clue on the laboratory of the great race. And these guys are a loop here, so we'll just uh, keep on moving. We go to the Let's see. I will go to the orary. So, uh, it's an orary. Uh, double action if there are no clues on Ethian Orary. Remember that you realize what year it is. Uh, while you are in the Ethian Orary, increase your maximum hand size by two. Uh, last action, we'll uh, pay winging it from the discard to lower the shroud by two. Yeah, we get to shovel it into our deck. And we'll commit lantern to the test. So we're uh, testing six versus three. It's a minus two, so we succeed. We get this clue. And next turn we can do the double action. But uh, that's our investigation phase. Uh, enemy phase, uh, this guy hunts here. And now this guy. Yeah, it, it still is aloof because we didn't do the action yet. So that is that turn. Uh, we draw a card, we get the lone wolf, and we gain one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. 
Uh, we are at 5 of 7 Doom. Uh, the encounter card is... Yutian Presence. Put Yutian Presence in the play in your threat area. If there is a Yutian enemy at your location, you cannot investigate that location or trigger abilities on encounter cards, including this card. Choose and discard two cards from your hand. Discard Yutian Presence. So we can't do tho those if there is a Yutian in play, but... Uh, we'll just do the double action to realize what year it is. And uh, now I just noticed that we are running out of decks, so we'll be taking one horror, and that will kill Miss Doyle or us. And that's not good, so to negate that, I'll put the Cherish Keepsake in play with my last action. And uh, enemy face, this guy hunts here. Upkeep, uh, we draw a card. And we gain one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we are at 6 Tomb of 7. I think uh, we are here in a bit of trouble. Uh, we can't get to 10 cards at hand. Or we could uh, do action spend clues and get the cards, so I think we're fine. But let's see. Uh, lost humanity. Oh yeah, we, yeah, well, let's resolve this. Test willpower 5. For each point you fail by, remove the top card of your deck from the game. If there are fewer than 10 total cards in your hand. Uh, deck and discard pile, you are driven insane. Okay, let's see. Uh, we are testing uh, 2 versus 5. Uh, we fail. So... Uh, we take one horror, uh, because we have to shuffle our deck before we can discard the top 5 uh, cards. Uh, yeah, we have to discard 3 cards to remove them from the game. So we lose uh, Cherry's Keepsake and Zeal and Vida. Just put them there. The custodian draws us a card, and now um, so mm, uh, we cannot do draw actions. That is the problem, so I think we're screwed, uh, whatever we do. Uh, yeah, uh, let's try to get rid of one of these cruel intent, uh, interrogations, so 2 versus 2. Uh, we fail. Uh, we discard one random card. We discard the switchblade. Try again. Uh, we fail, and we try again. Yep, I think we're we're done. Those cruel interrogations. I, I completely forgot that they just threw the draw ability on the act, act card. Yeah, we just with the turn and. Yeah, just discard more. Yeah, we don't need to discard cards, but we fail. This guy hunts here. And no nothing else happens. Upkeep we draw a card, we gain one resource. And that is that turn. Uh, we are dooming out on the next turn, so I won't 
cut the next turn just uh, finish it on this turn so we go to upkeep uh, we go to the mythos space we add the doom so this uh, gender advances each surviving investigator is defeated well let's see what that means as i recall this is the end for benny so uh, if no resolution was reached each investigator was defeated in your campaign log, record that the investigators had their memories expunged. Each investigator is driven insane. The investigators lose the campaign. I'm just checking. There is no additional things in this uh, return to pamphlet for this scenario. But yeah, uh, unfortunately, Benny got defeated and we lose lose the campaign so we can't continue the campaign with any other investigator and that was the return to the forgotten age <laughs> I still really like this scenario but these two screwed us over greatly uh, without those we could have done triple action on this turn to spend uh, one clue three times to draw uh, six cards and then if each surviving investigator has ten or more cards in his or her hand immediately advance and then we would have got, uh, gotten resolution one but still uh, overall I'm really liking the changes they made into the return to version of the forgotten age I still <laughs> really dislike uh, Bondary Beyond and Heart of the Elders Part 1, but still they, they feel decent now. Uh, they don't feel unfair or anything like that. Uh, th this time we just got really lucky in this uh, the City of Archive scenario with the cruel interrogations. And we ended up going insane in the Yithian body. So unfortunately uh, we won't be seeing the depths of Yoth uh, and the Shattered Eon scenarios with Benny, but I'll probably be playing them in another campaign run some other time. But yeah, uh, thanks for watching this uh, playthrough of the Return to the Forgotten Age. It uh, ended up abruptly, but still was fun, fun to play. And I think next, because I just got the Starter Deck Investigators, I will be playing uh, some games with the new investigators and look forward to those uh, games. So thanks for watching and until next time.